In July 2016, a YouTube channel by the name of Maurice Harper uploaded 3,000 odd videos within the space of 13 days. Who is this person and why are they posting so many videos? Let's investigate. If you enjoy mysteries, true crime, disappearances and conspiracies, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. I also have a Patreon and a PayPal, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, I'll leave links to those in the description. Between the 16th of July 2016 and the 29th of July 2016, the Maurice Harper YouTube channel uploaded 3,001 videos, most of which three or four seconds long. Almost all of them are titled Lil Kieran, then a seemingly random sequence of letters, most of the time lowercase, but a few were in capitals. I'm only aware of nine videos with different titles, this one titled Movie On 7716 at 4.21pm number 2, and eight others with very similar titles such as Movie On 72016 12.50pm number 6, though the content of the videos is of the same nature as the rest. They're presumably filmed using the webcam on a laptop and show a man sat down in front of the camera. Sometimes he appears to be using the laptop, he has glasses on in some videos and you can see the reflection of the screen. Other times he's watching TV or talking to someone else in the room or talking on the phone. But there's always a mysterious tapping noise. Hmm, what is that mysterious ticking noise? I initially wondered if that might be Morse code, but I don't personally know Morse code and I tried to run it through an online translator and that turned up nothing. I posted in a couple of subreddits asking if anyone could decipher it, if there was even anything to decipher, and from the replies I got, it seems unlikely that the tapping noise is Morse code. I'm not sure what's even causing the tapping noise. In some videos, the camera seems to shake slightly with the taps, so it seems to be something that Maurice is doing. I wondered if he might be typing or clicking the trackpad. The camera movement would make sense if that was the case, but most of the time he doesn't appear to be doing either of those things. He'll be completely facing away from the screen, either talking to someone or watching TV. Whatever it is seems like it might be something that he's doing with his hands, as there are a couple of videos where both of his hands are in the view of the camera and there is no tapping. It almost seems like the tapping could have been added in after filming, as they are a lot clearer than any other audio in the videos, but that could just be because the tapping is on the laptop closer to the mic. Considering groups of consecutive videos show Maurice wearing the same outfit and the same lighting, i.e. daylight or lights on or lights off, it seems that Maurice, at different times, filmed short videos, split them into three to four second clips and uploaded them to YouTube, but they're not always in exactly the right order, and it seems that he might have skipped bits, we're not always seeing a continuous flow through each video. One will end mid-sentence and the next video won't complete the sentence, it'll seem like at least a few seconds have passed. Strangely, his most popular video somehow has over 1,900 views, yet no comments and no likes or dislikes. He has another video with over 1,000 views and a few more into the hundreds, yet they all either have zero comments, or the comments are turned off on a couple of videos, and zero or one like or dislike. It would be very unusual for a video with that number of views to generate little to no engagement. It's possible there might have been comments that were deleted by Maurice, but if he was going to delete comments, why not just have all comments turned off anyway? I wonder if he bought views on those videos, maybe? That would explain the lack of engagement, but it's hard to say for sure. Obviously, I didn't watch all 3,000 videos, but from the ones that I did see, there seems to be no obvious explanation as to why Maurice uploaded these seemingly random videos in the space of less than two weeks. After the last video of that kind on the 29th of July 2016, Maurice didn't upload again until the 6th of February 2017. This is the last ever upload on the channel and is a video titled Catch Me Outside, How About That? Super Bowl. It's basically a deep fake of a clip from Dr. Phil, obviously intended to be comedic, but it seems completely unrelated to the rest of the videos. It could have been an attempt at a viral video with hopes of his other videos getting more views, but I'm not sure. I have no idea what the random letters in the titles mean either. I wondered if they might be a code and I tried to run them through an online code identifier, but the results came up with nothing sensical. 
It just seems to be a bunch of letters. Though the Lil' Kieran part gives us something to go off. There are three music videos by a Lil' Kieran on YouTube. One is titled Lil' Kieran My Team Demo Copy and was uploaded on the 13th of January 2013. It's a music video and lo and behold, the guy rapping is Maurice. It was uploaded by an Aaron Slaughter, the director and producer, who commented, this is the demo copy, the screen is moving around a bit, this is YouTube's crap, not ours, look out for the official video to release on Tuesday. But no video was released on Tuesday and this is actually their only video on this channel. Aaron Slaughter appears to have produced or featured in a number of videos by many different artists, though none of them seem particularly well known or popular, and the most recent project he worked on was well over a year ago. It looks like My Team is the only song that he worked on with Maurice, and I couldn't find any further links between the two. Another video that comes up when you search Lil Kieran was uploaded in February 2015, and is titled Lil Kieran, Baby You So Beautiful. It was uploaded by a channel named KC Studios, who only has one other video that appears to be unrelated, but also a music video. I'm not sure if KC Studios is supposed to be a record label, or just a YouTube account that uploaded these. I can't seem to find any other record of this KC Studios, so I'm guessing it's either just someone's YouTube name, or it's an extremely small label, though you'd think they'd have some social media presence. The most recent YouTube video I could find of Lil Kieran's music is a collab with three other artists, uploaded by a channel with the name Young Guru in May 2015. The video uploaded before this one was titled Young Guru The Mixtape, and interestingly, similar to the first video, the description of this video says that the mixtape part 2 is coming soon, yet it never does. The next video to be uploaded was nearly four years later and wasn't the mixtape part 2. It doesn't look like the mixtape had anything to do with Maurice, but it's a bit of a coincidence that both channels didn't post, at least for a while, after Lil' Kieran videos. So we've established that Maurice is a music artist who goes by the name of Lil' Kieran. At this point, I'm wondering if those 3,000 videos were uploaded as some kind of guerrilla marketing technique or stunt to promote his music. I haven't ruled out that theory, but it doesn't look like he released any music around that time. As far as I could tell, his last song was nearly a year prior, in August 2015. Maurice has a Facebook page, and many of the posts are public. Most of them are sharing his videos, but they're not just music, some of them are roast-type videos or commentary with his girlfriend. There are no public posts at all between the 23rd of June 2016 and 4th of August 2016, and it was within this time that all the YouTube videos were uploaded. Interestingly, the videos aren't the only example of Maurice posting excessively. He shared many different posts multiple times in the same day, and on different days too. But around that time, he didn't really seem to be posting about his music at all, and just repetitively posted a skit he made, then roast videos. So the timing all just seems a little off for it to be a publicity stunt for his music. There are some posts that show nothing, I'm guessing the link or photo or whatever it was got removed, so for all I know, they might have been his music. It kind of seems like he tried to make it in a few ways, I take it his music career never really took off, but it looks like he tried his hand in some comedy skits too, as well as a commentary YouTube channel he started with his girlfriend in November 2019, The Kieran and Sarah Show. I'm not really sure why Kieran and Sarah stopped uploading, they were doing okay for the length of time they were active, and two days before their final upload, they had their most popular video, which had over 3,000 views. Anyway, it's possible that the YouTube videos on the Maurice Harper channel were to promote Maurice in general, though in none of his other projects does he appear to refer to himself as Lil Kieran. It's not too hard to do a couple of Google searches and find Maurice's other content, but it's not quite so direct. Just searching Lil Kieran on YouTube or Google only brings up the Maurice Harper videos. God knows how long you'd have to scroll for to find any of his music. I scrolled far enough that music by totally different artists was popping up, but I didn't see any of his. It's only the first result when you search something like Lil Kieran music. The Maurice Harper channel gives no indication that Lil Kieran is a rapper, in fact it gives no context at all. None of the videos appear to have descriptions, and neither does the channel itself. It's literally just 3001 of these inexplicable short videos, then one Cash Me Outside video. 
As we saw from Maurice's Facebook page, it isn't particularly uncommon for him to post excessively. His Twitter also shows periods of repetitive posting, and he's been active very recently on there, but it's mostly just posts about cryptocurrency and elongate. Going back to 2016, just like on his Facebook page, there are no tweets during the time all those YouTube videos were uploaded. The next time he's active is on the 8th of August, when he tweets the same link 31 times. The link was azearning.com and is now defunct, but it appeared to be an app where you could share articles and photos for cash. Perhaps sharing a link for the site earned Maurice money, which would make sense, as would spamming his own content on Facebook, as annoying as that must be for his friends. He was either promoting his content or probably trying to earn money on an app, but there seems to be no plausible explanation for the Maurice Harper YouTube channel. And even though he's spammed before, it's nothing like this. 31 tweets in a day is still a little way off 3,000 videos in 13 days. When I posted in the code subreddit, someone suggested that Maurice was trying to record a video, but the recording kept stopping, so he kept starting it over and over again. To keep the files organised, he named them all Lil Kieran with random letters, so they all had different names. That kinda makes sense, but it doesn't look like Maurice is ever actually intending to film a video. In the videos I've seen, he's never actually talking to the camera and just seems to be chilling while the camera is on. Also, if that was the case, how or why did the videos get uploaded to YouTube? If it was some kind of error, you'd think he'd have deleted the videos or the whole channel, especially considering it's taken over the results for the search term Lil Kieran rather than his actual music. But the videos are still there and he chose to upload the Cash Me Outside video months later, in 2017, which seems to be around the time that he gave up on his music career. I'm pretty sure this is objectively less interesting than I'm finding it, and there probably is a simple explanation for it. But it's just so strange to me that someone just started mass uploading for 13 days for no apparent reason, then stopped as suddenly as they started and carried on like it never happened. I would normally consider the possibility that mental illness might have factored in here, and obviously we can't tell what's going on below the surface, but Maurice just doesn't seem mentally ill in his other videos. I mean, he seems fine in these videos, he doesn't even seem to be aware that he's recording. I found no mention of mental illness on any of his social media or in any of the videos he uploaded with his girlfriend, so all in all, I just don't think that factored in here. As for the tapping, is it intentional, and if so, does it mean anything? Are the letters in the titles really random, or do they have some kind of hidden meaning? I discussed this on the Internet Mystery Sleuth Discord server, and someone decided to tweet Maurice asking, is this you, why did you upload so many videos? That was back in February, and he never responded, despite being active on Twitter as recently as the day I'm writing the notes for this video. This makes me wonder if it was some kind of publicity stunt. He's probably not going to tweet back and admit that, but if it was an error of some kind, he'd maybe clear that up. But I don't know, that's just speculation, I'm not really sure what's going on. I think the marketing theory is debatably the most plausible I can think of, but even that doesn't quite fit. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. What do you think's going on here, and do you have a theory that I didn't think of? If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Huge thank you to my patrons, whose names are on screen now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday in a new video.